The current landscape within the Democratic Party, coupled with the CNN analyst's remarks on Donald Trump's recent streak of victories, highlights significant shifts in political dynamics and public perception, raising questions about democratic governance. So motivation here is no longer on the table at all. Also, it, go ahead. Check in with, uh, with Van Jones uh, and Scott Jennings very quickly before we go to break, Van. Yeah, and the, the more you look at it, the worse it looks. Um, uh, and and we, we put it all together. Uh, basically, the Supreme Court has said in the past week, no rules for the powerful, no rights for the powerless. So if you're homeless, you can be thrown in jail for the crime of not having enough money to get a hotel room. But if you're the president of the United States, you can commit a, 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 an undetermined a number of crimes under color of law and get away with it. This is not good. I'm, there, I'm telling you, this is going to backfire politically. Because what I'm seeing from the left now, if you thought people were discouraged by what happened last week with uh, Biden's performance, they are now outraged and terrified that Donald Trump is going to get in office and be a complete madman dictator. So this is good. politically, this is a gift to the left, so it is a blow to the country. Scott? I'll take a, another political view of this. I was thinking about the last uh, 30, 35 days or so. I'm not sure any presidential candidate in modern history has had the incredible run of luck of Donald Trump. I mean, from the moment he got convicted in New York on a case that broadly unified the right and he got his big cash infusion to the debate implosion uh, of Biden last week to now we know from the Supreme Court ruling today, he's not going to see the inside of a courtroom outside of sentencing in New York before November. He is on an amazing luck. Democrats were hoping the month of June would totally change the trajectory of this campaign. And it did. Now they're in a nosedive and they have no idea how to pull out of it. He is on an incredible winning streak right now. And his campaign 30 days after getting convicted is in far better shape than it was. I want to thank everybody for joining us this morning for our special coverage of the Trump immunity ruling. There's a growing recognition that the political momentum has shifted dramatically in Donald Trump's favor. Many agree that Trump's recent legal and political triumphs have galvanized and unified his supporters sharply contrasting with the challenges and perceived shortcomings of the Biden administration and the Democratic Party. This political insight underscores the importance of robust leadership and resilience in the face of adversity, illustrating Trump's adeptness at capitalizing on pivotal moments. The broader implications touch on personal responsibility, the quest for meaning, and effective political leadership. Trump's ability to navigate and overcome obstacles in the political arena serves as a testament to individual agency in shaping one's destiny. The public's reaction to Trump's winning streak versus the Democratic Party's decline reflects widespread social unrest and aspirations. Recent political events have significantly impacted public psychology. Trump's legal victories and apparent vigor have buoyed public morale among his supporters while deepening despair and anxiety among his opponents. These dynamics influence voter behavior, political engagement, and overall trust in the political system. The public's response to the Supreme Court rulings and their effect on the political landscape will also be examined. The narrative surrounding Trump's winning streak and the Democratic Party's struggles elicits empathy from various segments of the population shaping public perception and political discourse. This underscores the need for balanced and nuanced reporting to foster informed and reasoned public participation. The broader context of Supreme Court decisions and legal accountability for those in power highlights ongoing ethical challenges. Ensuring accountability for actions that could undermine democratic principles while maintaining judicial independence remains a complex issue, affecting public trust in the judicial system and the essence of democratic governance.